Hello and welcome back to Full Scholarships. Today we will discuss about fully funded scholarship in Netherlands and it's fully funded with no eyelids requirement. So you can study for the session 2022 and 2023. It's provided by the fully funded uh, Netherlands government and it's particularly in the TU University, Technical University, Delft and it's known by excellent scholarship. So you can study master's level with two years duration and the scholarship opportunity is under the foundation of Justice and Louis excellent scholarship. So for each subject there are two seats to be filled and we will discuss in a while about the application process and how to fill and get the scholarship and admission in the university as well as scholarship before that i remind you if you have not subscribed us on youtube channel and watching this video for the first time or have watched previously our videos but have not subscribed yet so please subscribe you won't regret subscribing us as we post new scholarship every day so you can get the link in the video description below check the video description the link is given in the top and similarly you can check our instagram the link is given in also bio or you can message us and ask for the link so beginning the application process you can read the details about this opportunity on our website here so the country is netherlands it's also known as holland or maybe dutch and the financial coverage is fully funded so the university is ranked 15 in the qs world ranking so you mean having a high chance and is top university in the world so eligibility is conditionally accepted to the university course of any msc program and the most application deadline is first december 2021 so you have around one month left to apply to this and here is a list of documents so previous degree and other passport like documents that are compulsory and regular you can say regular documents must be submitted then you need to upload the scholarship form as well as other documents in the same document list so you must have two reference letters in pdf format that need to be updated and you can also submit the application uh, english language certificate from your previous institute so you can skip eyelids so if your transcript is mentioning that the course was taught in english you can get the English proficiency certificate uh, from your previous institute stating that the course was taught in English. So you have to fill the two applications, but once you fill the uh, admission application in the documents list, you have to fill the you have to submit the scholarship application also. While you fill the admission application and attach the documents in the document that you attach to this MSc application you have to attach the scholarship application form also so we will download that form and fill that form and then attach with the documents also you have to upload two reference letters so i hope you understood the eligibility criteria and steps so i will show you step by step so scrolling down and up to this page you can check apply now button here now simply click on this apply now button here so you can read about this scholarship as we already mentioned so it's written again on the official website here so you can check this other scholarships here also but currently we are showing you for this particular scholarship so deadline is first december as we showed you already so here is the procedure all documents required must be submitted at once with the MSc application. So you don't have to fill separately. You have to fill all the you have to attach all the documents while you fill the MSc application. So here you can check four steps. Check the eligibility for the scholarship and complete your MSc application. Upload the scholarship form, then upload two reference letters. So that's it. Then you have to upload the English certificate. So now you can check the complete your msc application so click on this msc application here so you can check the application procedure it's already mentioned here 
so you can apply to this course is mentioned here so here is the registration procedure for the technical university and with non non dutch previous education so for international students so we have to go to this study link dot nl so simply go to google and type the study link dot nl so just go to google and search this so you will get this scholarship here so got this application link here so it's mentioned here use the same spelling and google it so once you google you can get the link in the top s-t-u-d-i-e-l-i-n-k dot n-l so simply go to this link click on this link here so it will take you to the study link where you can sign up as well as login so before we do the login process let me show you the scholarship application form that we have to upload here and the msc application form as well so go back to this first page you can also get this link while you click on this so it was the first link so here you can check upload the scholarship application form now click on this scholarship application form here so while you click on this scholarship application form you need to download this and add the details mentioned here first name last name date of birth program applying for cgpa reference and the scholarship requested so then you have to fill this jl when if in scholarship so that's what we are talking right now so it's jl when if in excellent scholarship so you have to take this and you can also take other scholarships then write the motivation in 100 words and the answer about this question in 150 words then this question this question and these questions so you have to answer these questions and try to make them in a computer format do not write with your hands so multiple choice allowed so you can take two more than one scholarship so particularly we are showing you this if you are already filling then choose the holland scholarship and other scholarships as well so as we are filling the jl we will take this and answer these questions so you need to keep this ready while the other documents also now going to again if you have not yet go to google then go to google and search studylink.nl then click on this link and it will take you here now if you have not signed up here anytime you can click this create study link account without dg id simply if you are new here click this and create an account so to create an account fill the personal details mentioned here then click on next fill the address details then contact details then summary and your account will be generated so you need keep the email and password written so that you can log in so now you have your account created you can verify it from your email also so once you have all the details here you can click on this login with without dg id so use the email and password that you generated while signing up this form then use the same email and password then simply click on this login button here once you are logged in successfully you can fill the study programs your previous educations like the if you are applying for master so you need to fill up to bachelors your high school higher secondary education then bachelors and on the right you need to fill personal details these will be automatically filled as while you sign up you need to fill personal details address details, contact details these will be automatically filled up so simply now go to study programs here click on study programs wait for the page load click on this add new enrollment application now choose the university that's delft university of technology you can choose this university under the here so i have chosen this then select wo masters here and you can sort it by academic field also and here you can check full-time applications so you can check your course so you can check the course that you want to apply for so suppose i am selecting this course so i'll select here click on this select button 
now you can check study program details select start date when you want to start i'll be preferably join while june the regular date to start master program is september so let me select september okay so i am starting as a first year so i am aware of the previous education that i have outside the netherlands has to be verified by education institute so they will verify then click on next so there will be institutional questions so do you want to be admitted to bsc or msc program with an international diploma complete your application using tu dl online application system so so now you can click this link for msc program to offshore university directly so let me before proceeding to next question let me check what is there so here you can check bsc with international diploma it's same process we already found so we need nothing to do with that now click next question so the page is loading so my poster address email address and telephone address may be shared with so i can tick all the organizations now click next so do you have any disability disability like so i don't have now click next so do you agree yes i agree then next so overview and confirm here are the answers then save answers now click on next here you can read about this now check this mark here and then click on confirm so it will redirect us but we have to go back and then wait for this page to load so here you can check application enrollment application submitted so you can read about this so on the message let me check if there is any mail so preferably in few seconds we will get an email so you can modify your details also so application sent to education institute pending confirmation of receipt so once they show you that we have received your application there an option for document will be available so you need to upload documents mentioned here so you need to upload all documents so let me check educational requirements so here will be the requirement document so you can check application procedure also and log into this okay so now you can check submit enrollment you will receive an email with your tu dn net id email id and password for an addition of this now activate your net id and upload your password photo e service at this login to oscn so let me check if we have received any mails so you can check enrollment status sent so what do you need to do check regularly student account to do actions completing enrollment keep track of your progress and this tu help app so let me check if there is any email also so all you need to do is just wait and then follow the next steps mentioned here so then once you are once you receive email with the net id you need to follow the steps mentioned here then you are act activate your net id 
then upload your passport photo at this log into this and upload the required documents then you can also pay the application fee also you can re request for the waiver too so uh, while you upload the documents here you need to upload the scholarship application also that we downloaded here so you, while you answer the questions here keep this ready and other documents then you need to upload your documents to the net id at this login so currently we have not received any email once we receive email in it may take one to two days as we have previously experienced that at that time it took three days and then we received and then the procedure was the same so after you can read the again so let me remind you again and repeat that study link you have to google this and go to this website and then log in fill the application form and like we did here now here you can check you are registered at tvdf under this and you are requested to mention the student number in all correspondence of the tvdf so now you can check or number is received so we have to now wait for other information we will similarly receive messages here with the net id so let me cross check once if i am able to log into net id so while i was checking i have received my net id you can check so now we have your username then we need to click this link and set a new password so you can enter your net id then you can reset the password also so let me reset my password and then log in so as i have reset my password now i can go to net id sent in your email so you can go to your net id so you can use this email address also so now use the username and i have generated password now click on login so <clears throat> there is nothing inside right now as let me check back so now we have our net id and password successfully logged in now we need to go to this e-service.tudelf.nl so go to this url here copy this or write in google so let me go to this url first so now i have gone to the e-services and we can go to login then click login use the same net id so now you can go to personal so here you can check You can read all details here and then follow so let me check if there is any email on next step so there was an email so you can check please continue to your application please continue your application process in directly the link is given that was mentioned here here it was mentioned so it is directly given in the email so simply click on this direct link here it will take you to this application portal please complete and submit the application click edit or view so we have to click this view or edit now we need to complete the document section and upload scholarship application so now click on this continue so you can check tutorial offer scholarships so here you can check about scholarship it is mentioned so i hope now it's clear this might be confusing so let me go to reminding you again the steps first 
as you might know that we have failed this application till this if you have any doubt you can comment down so now i hope you have understood this step process till here now you will receive an email directly go to the link mentioned in your email osin to delf then log in and then we done the personal steps then application procedure so click on continue now you can make your choice here and select your institution so it was like your previous education so now you need to find your like where you have studied your bachelor's so you can submit that so let me find my then official title of the degree and it was bachelor of science then what is your current cgpa and starting date then graduation date then study in years did you graduate yes now we have to attach the document of provisional certificate or graduation degree here so click on this plus button so let me upload my attachment so now i have attached my document i can click upload file so you can check it's up, uh, attached so now you can upload the provisional transcript like your mark sheet so let me attach my transcript now click upload so i have attached both if applicable add a second university degree so i don't need so now english proficiency i exempt based on my nationality and bachelor's degree okay now click continue so now you can attach your english proficiency certificate from your previous institute exemption reason so i have attached my english proficiency then click upload so it's attached here now click continue so now we have to upload motivation letter resume scholarship application form i hope you remind you remember what scholarship form i am talking about this scholarship form you have you have to fill i hope you have filled this and you have to fill this and answer these questions then keep this ready now go back to application here so let me attach my motivation resume scholarship form and while when applying school upload to reference letters that we mentioned here so we have to upload these documents and then passport id or identification then passport expiration date so let me upload these details first i have uploaded my all documents scholarship form also then references also now click continue while adding passport and expiry dates and then click i affirm then continue so you need to pay application fee so you can raise objection you can also apply for exemption so now you can overview and submit once you pay application fee so payment has not been fulfilled so you can pay the application fee so if you want to your exemption you can write the reason for exemption and waive off your fee so if your financial condition is not of that much you can apply for the application fee waiver with any certificates that your financial condition is not suitable once you have the exempted fee then you can overview and submit the application simply here i hope you have understood the process and i think it was too lengthy for you but i will still remind you again here you have to fill 
msc application first on the study link here that we already filled then you will receive your email with the links given here go to this link and then you will be redirected to this application form now as you know already that we submitted all the steps once you fill your application fee or raise an objection for withdraw then you can overview here and submit i hope you understood the process and liked or dedication in submitting this video and showing you the whole process of the netherlands scholarship please do subscribe and before leaving this video also follow us on instagram and before leaving this video i'll remind you again to like this video and share this video with your friends and do subscribe thank you for watching